Hi and welcome back to Softonic.com. I'm Alex and if you can't tell from the title cards to this side of me, I'm here to show you the amazing retro arcade racer Horizon Chase. Now this draws heavily on games like Outrun and Lotus, or should I say the Lotus series, um, in that it's a behind the car, tight in there racer that has you just kind of like cruising left and right around the track, jockeying for position as you cruise past other cars. It takes a little bit more from Lotus in that they're lap based races, so rather than just like checkpoint to checkpoint to checkpoint as you would in Outrun, you have a very tight time limit on each track, which tends to max out at around three minutes, so you know exactly that you've got enough time between this stop and your next one on the tube for another go on your game. Um, so let's just jump into one here. Oh, will I hurt myself? Yeah, I'll jump into a race that I haven't yet completed, which is always a great way to embarrass yourself on a video. Righty ho then, tapping on that opens it up. And while I have unlocked a stack of cars, I have been favoring the Outrun Ferrari. It's been powered up as the game's gone on. This is the car you start with. But like I say, as I have completed challenges that unlock on each world, I've unlocked more of those. Uh, more power-ups to make sure this keeps up with all the other cars. So while they do all handle a little bit differently, ultimately it's down to how much you like specific vehicles. Ooh, have not raced this one before. Okay, now let's talk about what's actually going on. I have four buttons on the screen, a left, right, and an accelerate, and a turbo. Now a turbo, pretty self-explanatory, just speed on down. Uh, and the left and right steering is also, as you would expect, left and right, but as you would also expect, looking at the screen there, it's incredibly digital, so you haven't got a lot of kind of like, uh, ooh, you haven't got a lot of accuracy with the control, uh, although it is incredibly responsive. You can't do like a half turn, you can just feather it, which is a different skill and one that old arcade racers will be used to. I'm not fans of old arcade racers, I should say. Oh. Uh, also with the accelerate, you can only you only have the choice to feather that or go all out. Because if you're not accelerating, you are braking, and it's very rare that you want that when you're trying to catch up with the other cars. And the other all important button is the turbo, which I shouldn't have hit then. Now I am playing this on an iPhone, which is tiny, which means that a lot of all the beautiful graphics you see going on there are quite overwhelming and do kind of get in the way of some of the things the game is trying to communicate. So, for example, those blue light, those blue coins on this track are fairly clear because most of the time I'm racing against yellows. But on a lot of tracks, they will disappear, and especially if they're on the horizon, as opposed to um, like right up on you, if, and, or if the track isn't arcing up in front of you but it's arcing down, you can find it hard to spot them, like those ones. Meaning you quite often find yourself having to memorize them from lap to lap. So the, that's another way that the lap system kind of plays into the game in that. You do need those blue coins to get the maximum rank for a level, or, or the Pro Award, I think it's called. Uh, and if you want to start unlocking all the cars, you really need to start getting those. So, it is absolutely vital that you get those and those fuel cans that work as a kind of pit stop on your way around. So, I guess on a larger screen you might get around that. You also might be more easily able to make out, uh, in case you didn't spot that there, the... Um, the map that's in the top left corner that I very rarely get to refer to and when I do it's tiny and I let off there and my fingers miss the digital buttons which is a rarity because they are incredibly responsive and quite well placed generally. Oh well third place that's what I get for showing off and trying to do a new race. Okay so we'll just do one more quickie. Now one thing that you might not have appreciated as I was going around there if you if it's not something you've been missing like I was it's the kind of uh, what's the word? The parallel lines that make up the side of the track, uh, uh, the landscape around it. Now those don't in any way match with reality, <laughs> obviously. They're constantly horizontal and it gives a really intense feeling of speed. Let's pick a race that I'm going to win. Let's show off a little. Show off a little by doing an easy track. That's not how that works. Oh well. Uh, let's pick that one because it's all weedy. Um, and let's pick a different car. I've been sticking with him a bit, my little dodge ripoff. Um, so we'll wait till this loads up and you'll be able to see it here. So you've got those kind of like the two shades of blue, or oh, two shades of blue, the, the blue and the white at the edge of the track and then the two shades of brown that make up just outside it. And, and while that's kind of iconic for the what it's mimicking or what it's paying homage to, um, it is also really good for giving a sense of really intense speed, despite the fact 
you're not really moving that fast. Uh, which is a weird thing, because you'll find with a lot of racing games, they, they strive so much for realism rather than, like, simulation rather than arcade these days, like real racing and the like, uh, and having realistic upgrades, you never really feel like you've got a sense of speed going. And that's partly because you start in a Fiat Punto and have to work your way up, but also partly because you've got real world kind of scale to deal with, which without the G-Force sometimes doesn't have the acceleration that you that you something might come to a video game for. This completely gets around that. I hear my voice break as I nearly crash. Um, as it just gets faster and faster. And you're always racing with these kind of high power cars that always feel incredible. Now, like I said before, the, the tracks are incredibly busy and can be hard to spot what's going on. But if we just um, find an empty bit of track to go off to the side of, Look at the way that grass kicks up behind me. Just beautiful, crisp, clear polygons that come up like stars. It's, I, and I don't, I don't like hyperbole much, which is a problem when I'm now about to say what I'm about to say, but this might be one of my favorite games of the year. Uh, it's an absolutely incredible race that draws on, oh, this is the problem. Use hyperbole and you get smote by the um, god of reviewers. That's what was happening there. Um, but yeah, absolutely one of my favourite games of the year. Certainly on iOS, possibly on anything. Uh, it is currently only on iOS, which is a shame. Hopefully it will move its way out soon, and that will give more people a chance to play it. Because I think everyone should. Now, it is a premium game, and I, people have said to me, oh, it looks like it's a bit much. And I say to you, no. No, it is exactly the right price. The people who made this deserve all of you, not all of your money, that, that's an exaggeration, but they deserve every penny they're asking for. It is, depending on your region, it's £3 in the UK, I think. Uh, five euros or five bucks, depending on where you are. Oh, I'm running out of fuel. No, I'd have a turbo. Maybe that'll get me to the finish line faster. Yee. Um, but yeah, so worth picking up. Uh, if you look at our review on the site, you'll have a few more details there. But uh, as a spoiler, I gave it 10 out of 10. Uh, and it's the first game I've done that with uh, since I arrived here at Softonic. So it, trust me or no, but take it from me that. that there have been few games that I've enjoyed more uh, in the last year. Okay, thank you very much. Although, when I just missed the pro point by two, you can go off things, you know. Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you more soon with some more videos. Uh, I know later this week we'll have a volume video going up. That's going to be me again. Um, so check that out, because that's another game that I have been incredibly impressed by. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.